Okay, here we go. We're in Boulder, Colorado. I'm up at Green Mountain and I haven't run technical trails like this. I haven't run elevation like this in probably eight or nine months. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. So I haven't done it in a long time, but the goal is to get up to the top of Green. I'm gonna do it the shorter, but steeper and more technical way. I don't know what the snowpack is gonna be like. I don't know what the condition of the trails is gonna be like, but either way, it's gonna be fun. It's really hard to get bored running up here. that gel. I didn't think I was going to be out here for so long, but I'm basically unable to run most of this trail. So this is a, a hike, a hike run slightly. So we're going to get some Gatorade Endurance gel, 30 milligrams of caffeine, strawberry flavor. Oh, should be fun. Let's do it. This video is sponsored by Lululemon. I am beyond thrilled to partner with Lululemon to bring you this video because quite simply, Lululemon makes some of the best quality athletic gear that you can buy, hands down. And they sent me some gear to try out and I'm so thrilled about this because, I don't know if you guys know this, but I actually probably turn down sponsors every single day. Either the company doesn't create products that I think are really going to help runners or they have a, a brand or a vision that doesn't really align with strength running. But when Lululemon reached out to me, come on, this is Lulu. You gotta partner with Lulu. They make such amazing stuff. All right, so let's see what they sent over to me. This stuff is amazing. First, they sent me the Surge 10 inch running tights. These are great because they have pockets on the outside and the quality is just unbelievable. In this video, you can actually see me wearing these shorts as I summit Green Mountain. Next, the Metal Vent shirt. This short sleeve shirt is just one of my favorites now. A lot of these shirts are just polyester or maybe nylon, but the way that Lulu constructs a lot of their athletic gear, there's other materials in it that just make it much more stretchy and much more comfortable to wear. So I'm really grateful that this isn't just polyester. They also sent me these Surge four inch shorts. These are just beautiful. And what I really love about these is, I mean, not only is the material super light, so you know these aren't gonna weigh you down at all, they're not gonna absorb a ton of sweat, but inside the shorts, there's a more substantial liner than you're gonna find in most other running shorts. So usually the liner is sort of like underwear, but this is a little bit more like boxer briefs. So if you want a little bit more support, if you want the liner to come down maybe two inches on your leg, these shorts are amazing. Next, Lulu did some real innovation here with these Surge hybrid pants. And you know, they, they look kind of like normal athletic pants that you might wear, but what's really interesting about these is that they taper down. And here at the ankle, there's a lot of, um, it's very tight at the ankle, which is really comfortable. You're not gonna get a lot of fabric swishing around your ankles when you're running. So if you wanna wear tights, but it's maybe not cold enough, you want something that gives you a little bit more flexibility, these Surge pants are really amazing. Now, while all these products are really amazing, what I have here is truly something special. These are the fast and free three inch shorts and they have just an amazing split leg. Look how far up that split goes. You guys know me, I love my split leg running shorts. When I'm out there, I do wanna be fast and free and these are now my favorite running shorts because there's nothing to them. They're so light, they're amazing for workouts and anytime you really wanna go fast, these are the shorts for you. And last but not least, there is the Metal Vent Tech Long Sleeve. I am such a fan of this shirt. It is one of my favorite long sleeve shirts now because it's thin, it's light, but it's also really warm. And I like the fact that it actually looks like a normal shirt. It looks like not a running shirt. So this is really great. It's stylish. It has some nice flex to it. Lulu, thank you for sponsoring this video and hooking me up with these amazing pieces of running gear. 
Uh, I really feel just super inspired and motivated to train right now. And the uh, long sleeve tights and the shirt that I wore summoning Green Mountain just worked amazingly. Viewers, you can shop these products at the links below. You can check them all out. And I promise you're gonna absolutely love them. Lulu makes incredible gear. God, just how steep this was. Oh wow. I feel like I'm doing a tempo run and I'm walking. Woo! Oh, and it only goes up from here. Oh, this is getting dicey. This is super slippery. Oh my God. We're not gonna count that as a fall. That's just a minor slip. Up and up we go. Parked my car way down there. That's some good vert right there. Let's keep going. You know, this kind of trail running might as well be an entirely different sport. You can't run a lot of these trails. And I can see how even hiking at these grades, at this, geez, here we go, I'm almost slipping. At these altitudes, so technical. This is actually the first time that I have ever come up to Green Mountain in the month of March. And I'm realizing why I don't do it. Even though we might have had fairly warm weather in Denver, it's been bolder in the mountain where, you know, there's not a lot of sun up here. It's mostly shaded. There's still like 18 inches of snow. And I'm really struggling, especially because I'm wearing road shoes. Not too bright. I really, you have to kind of check your ego at the door when you do stuff like this. But I think I'm getting close. So let's keep going. Did it. Here we are, I'm back home. I had some camera difficulties at the very tail end of that run, but should I call it a run? <laughs> I probably ran about a mile and a half of that five and a half miles, and it was really challenging. I mean, it, the snow out there on the trails was pretty brutal, but I wanna share some stats with you. Um, and in terms of also nutrition post run, I finished off that bottle of Element electrolytes. I also had a you can bar and I'll include links to this to all this good stuff underneath the video uh, but let's see all right here are some stats of this crazy hike run that I did uh, today up in Boulder 5.5 miles two hours and 30 minutes and six seconds an average pace of 2718 per mile I'm not setting any speed records up there today <laughs> with my best mile being 1759 
average heart rate of 114. Minimum elevation was 5,673 feet. I gained 2,398 feet for a maximum elevation reached of 8,219 feet. So there we have it, guys. That is my very challenging run today. It is just a stepping stone for a lot more trail runs in the future. And I think because it's my first trail run in probably eight or nine months, uh, frankly, I'm happy with it. You know, it was, it was an interesting adventure. And now I know a little bit more about how to handle myself on that kind of terrain. And I know that I can only go up from here. We can only build from here. And I'm gonna do a lot more coming this summer. Stay tuned, guys.